So it's Wednesday night. I was supposed to be over on Finding Cooper's Voice with my friend Kate Swenson. And she had a little technical difficulty. So that so then I thought, you know, I could come in here and maybe Amos and I'll do a little chitty chat chat. Hi. How's your lip? Let me see. So Amos ran in tonight to the the glass door. It hurt, didn't it? Amos ran to the glass. Where Amos ran into the glass. Let me see. Go like this. <coughs> I know. It was very upsetting. Uh, oh, no. It didn't. It just got your nose, didn't it, right here? Does your nose hurt? Let me see. Let mommy look. No. It's not an end to me, look. Poor nose. Let me kiss it. Does it hurt to touch? We had a hard time, didn't we? Did you have fun at the park? No, get out. Who chased you at the park? Mommy. <gasps> Is mommy fast? Yes. Is daddy fast? Mommy. Mommy's fast. I mean, he, I know, ran right into the darn glass door. I mean, like, Full on ran. Oh no, it just, it just was, it was like, then he was crying. A man was standing there with the other, the door, the actual door open. And then the glass, like, set door was beside it. And um, I guess it just kind of threw him off that somebody was standing there with an open door and the stroller was in the way and he was trying to go around it. Oh, and then I was like mad at the person that had the door open in the way. You know how you're just mad in general? But he cried and cried and cried. Yay, a new subscriber. Um, and then we went to, so we were down in Florida, and we went to this indoor playground, which he loves. And he really likes it when the little kids, when there's lots of little kids. Like, Amos plays really well with maybe, like, three- and four-year-olds. You know, they want to play chase and kind of do all these things. Um Oh, no stitches, no. But I was worried he knocked out his front tooth. No, no one is watching Oregon and North Carolina. Um, my dad and my big boys and my husband have gone to the Miami Heat Lakers game. So that was kind of a Christmas present for them. Um, so they're doing that. And the girls in Amos stayed here. But so he hit his nose. Well, then he wanted to, he played for a little while. But you know, I I was saying this to Carrie Cariello and Kate Swenson just now when we were trying to get their video to work. And um, I was like, you know, autism most days is pretty, like, happy. And it really is. I mean, we have hard times and stuff, but it's happy. Well, for years... I have been like, I want Amos to have friends and do all these things. And he doesn't really care about having the friends. And I would tell myself like, okay, um, you know what? He's happy. So it, it bothers me, but he's happy. Yes, yeah, stickers. That's what I was thinking. Um, well, you know, Jane, new subscriber. I'm so excited. I tell you. Yes, like, he loves a younger child. Well, tonight, there was a little girl about his age, and she spoke Spanish, and not much English yet. They had moved here from Spain not too long ago, and um, so it wasn't like she was ignoring him. But yesterday, we had been there, and there were little tiny kids, and he was running and playing. Debbie, he ran into the, like, a fixed glass window that he thought was a door and, like, hit his nose and his lip. Um, anyway, well... We went out to the outside, and he was like, where are all the children? They were all gone. I was like, well, why don't we go out to the outdoor playground? And so we went out there, and he said, 
to one little girl. What, what did he say? What are you? So what are you is something that he says. Um, so I really need to start working with him on like, how do you get somebody to play? So he'll say to me, say, I want, he wants you to chase. You know, he's trying to get me to help him, right? Which is just awesome. But it's like, heartbreaking. You know, that he wants so much to have these friends and have people play with him, and he doesn't know how to do it. And he's wanting me to help him, and I don't know how to do it. And anyway, we've never done, like, ABA therapy, mainly because where we live, it's not even, like, a thing. But I think, like, I'm going to have to really look into it. I mean, I was like, you know, I um, need help. Um, I don't know. It, and it was like his nose hurt. And then, then he bumped his head at the playground. And then he said, you know, I want the children to chase Amos. It was just hard, just really hard. Um, so I ended up chasing him. I don't love to chase people in the playground. I don't like going down all those tunnels and, you know, I had on pants. So I took off my shoes, took my keys off. I unbuttoned my pants. Um, Yes, I think, Kara, there's tons of things that I can be doing that would be helpful, which I can do. But the problem is there's always so much shit that I need to be doing. You know, we're trying to get his medicine right or we're working on him sitting to do his schoolwork or trying to get him to not say the F word or, you know, there's a zillion different things that are important for him. Like, should we use a speech device? You know, it's just... It's a lot. And tonight when he just was like all he wanted was for people to play with him. And it wasn't that they wouldn't play with him. There was nobody there to play with him. So it wasn't even like he was being scorned or ignored or, I mean, Lord knows what will happen if that happens. I'll be like a total, like, what was that book called? Blubber. I'll be like a blubberer on the floor. Not because of chubby, just because of, you know, wah, Ryan. Um, anyway, that was really hard. If you're going to consider ABA, lots tend to have tennis stuff. And maybe it's not even ABA that we need. We just need, I need to be helping him so he knows what to say, you know. Um, oh, thank you, Karen. Like, I, I need to help him, like, do you want to play? And then if somebody says no, what does he do then, you know? How did he learn the F word? Because I taught it to him. How does anybody learn any word? Do you think there's a nine-year-old on this planet that has not heard the F word? Most nine-year-olds, J.B. Page, know that that's unacceptable. So he's no different than any other nine-year-old other than the fact that he lacks the ability to realize you don't say the F word in front of other people. Maybe it was on YouTube. Maybe it was at school. Maybe it was on the iPad when he had it a year ago. I certainly don't call him a fucker bot. I pretty much like promised that for you, but call me crazy. Don't say shit like that to me have to ask, does your husband help? Um, you know, it's so funny. So this is, I, my husband has a law firm and that's his career. My career is the blog. And I think there's this expectation because you see it a lot with people on social media where it's these whole families and it might be our darling chaos. And they've got like 8,000 kids and they're dressed alike the husbands don't work. Nobody works. All they do is make money off these blogs. That is not our family. Like, I did this for me. It's something that I enjoy doing. And you will see my children in it when they like to be. But it is not like a family affair. Like, we're not going to become, you know, blippy on YouTube. So, yes, my husband helps. But we have 
four children. So my husband has his own stories to tell, like when he took Amos to the playground earlier today, but he doesn't blog, so you don't hear from him. And when he takes him to the playground, he doesn't take photos. He is chasing him. So you're just not hearing from him because he's not a blogger. I'm a blogger. So what I write about and talk about generally is my experience. Not my son Thomas's experience, not my husband's experience. Now, I occasionally will, but it's mine. Yeah, today I went to the beach for an hour and a half with my big three kids, and my husband kept Amos here, and they went swimming in the pool. Then I came home, and we got in the pool. And then we took our oldest son for kite surfing lessons. And then Thomas took my middle son on a sailboat with another friend. And then they went to the heat game, and Amos and I went to the playground. I mean, it's, it's nuts around here. So trust me, everybody is doing something. I'm not like secretly divorced and trying not to tell you. Really, the big page is not where you need to be tonight. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You might have won something on that one, Teresa. But, <laughs> oh, thank you, Naomi. What are you up to? Water. Water. and she's Irish. So anyway, my grandson is 11. She's given occupational therapy, food therapy, speech therapy. Yeah, it's just a lot. It is a lot. Um, it's a lot. Start teaching them by repeating over and over and saying again. You know, we, he knows not to say the F word. I mean, I think he knows. But if you tell him not to say it, it, there's just no point in even talking about it. I just ignore it because that seems to best. Are you talking about bad words? Yeah. Um, Somebody, some, I'm on the big page, and some dodo bird said, well, where did he learn that word? Like we've all taught it to him. I mean, like everyone says that. Have y'all ever been to Australia? Blair just said, everyone says bad, bad words. Have y'all ever been to Australia? What happens in Australia? I don't know. Is that like where the bad words are? Yes. <laughs> no, but I think the deal is that Amos, it's not like we've taught Amos to say these bad words. He's just, most nine-year-olds know not to say them, right? Yeah. So he's no different. And then I look at him and I say, Amos, and he says, don't say bad words. But I don't even think he means to say them, do you? <laughs> like when he says fucker bot? I mean, why is that a bad word? Look. She's not concerned. I mean, I just said it in front of her, and she's not going to call me that. What? A fucker bot. <laughs> Like, he, like, adds on to the bad words. <laughs> yeah, we, we add on to bad words. We, we make up our own bad words. We do. It's a problem. Um, so don't, don't use your rules and put them on me because it ain't going to work. Social skills have improved tremendously. Yeah, that's, we really do need help on that. No, I said tonight, he said, I want the children to chase Amos. At the playground. What? When we were at the playground, he said, I want the children to chase Amos. <laughs> I know, he's such a grandpa. Well, it wasn't that nobody was chasing him. He, there was nobody there to chase him, so then I had to chase him, which is why Blair didn't want to go to the playground with us, because she didn't want to have to chase him. Who made your glasses? I know, and then y'all are out at, y'all are, every time y'all Who made my glasses? Somewhere? Can you see? I don't know. But y'all are always peepers. like, Blair, you should get with us. And then y'all are there for like three hours. Like imagine spending three hours at the playground chasing Amos. Well, I don't like going to the playground That's for three like hours, misery. but I couldn't think of anything else to do. Tell him that he can hop in the pool or something. I can't get in the pool. It's cold. I got in today for a long time. 
I'm just reminding myself that this is not vacation. This or is a trip. Or you can teach mom to play hide and seek. We could play hide oh, and seek. Oh, I left this ice cream bar out and it melted. <laughs> it's like, it's like completely melted. Look. Why'd you do that? Because I forgot about it. Reacher? F word. Release stress. Reacher? Reaper? What's it called? Reacher? Reaper. Oh, Blair is real into the new show called... Um, no, I don't like Jack it. Reacher. I just have Reaker. to watch it because I have to find out the ending or else I'll have nightmares. No, you're not sleeping with me again tonight. Big Tanda. Big Tanda. Big Tanda is at the basketball oh, game. When he didn't want you on the couch. Oh my gosh, he can't even have me in his room. This morning he was like, he was on the couch and I sat on the couch. Sissy, get off the couch. And I sat in the chair. Sissy, get out of the chair. And I saw, Sissy, get out of the room. Get out of the floor. I finally convinced him to come into my bedroom and watch television. No, so he literally sat on sit the couch the for room. 20 minutes deciding if he was Well, I kept, in you were asleep in my bed, and he, then he couldn't um, Get in there? watch TV this morning. Oh. <laughs> I bet he was mad about it. Mm. I didn't even wake up late. I woke up at like 10. I'd like to see myself. Who was cussing, cussing in Russian? Well, that would be good. Maybe Why don't we, we could teach, teach him how in to Russian. Do that? <laughs> We're just over here teaching Amos Russian. My husband loves Jack Reacher. Is that, am I saying it right? Are you saying it right? You need to make a shirt. Just joined. Yay. So this shirt, my friend Vivian Howard made to raise money for um, Eduardo's taco stand, I think on Ocracoke after the hur a hurricane years ago. And I really like it too even though I've got a big black stain on it that looks like this. That's a stain? That's a bad Well, I don't know what it could be. How much money could I pay you to go jump in the pool with your clothes on right now? Like $20? A hundred? No. Why would I pay you a hundred dollars for that? I'll you pay, would pay me like a I'll dollar. pay you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for 20 No, I'm not paying you 20 Um... Anyway. Ooh, We're trying. For my room. Our family is trying. Mom, I bought something for my room. And then we're always brought back to real life. What? With siblings, aren't we? I bought something for my room. Oh, good. Talking about the movie. Well, he had a really good time, Blair. He was trying to he was trying to talk to a little girl, but she only spoke Spanish. And he said, Hello, what are you? And I was thinking, I think we gotta teach him a new thing to say question to other than what are you? Yeah. But you know, he, he used that Halloween and it was very successful because everybody was in a costume. So we would say, Hello, what are you? <laughs> well now people are like and then he'll say it if you like look unusual. So then you get, did you notice he did it the other day at the airport? You thought he was going to say it to those people that were Amish, didn't you? I was so scared. I knew when we walked by them, he was going to say something. Yeah, I mean, there was a whole family of Mennonites, or maybe they were Amish, and he went. And I, like, covered Amos because I didn't want him to. Yeah, she, like, put her hand over his mouth and, like, sped him through he, the I checkout line. I knew he would say something. He would be like, look at the people with the marshmallow hats. He said, what are they? <laughs> Keep going. And then he did it. The other, I mean, you, he really will say something. And he has no... I keep asking about the play at church, too. We haven't talked about the play at church yet. Oh, he was there for like five minutes. He started talking. He said, bye, Mary. And then he left. He was dressed as a king for about eight seconds. You never even saw him as a king. And then he wanted to be an angel. So he had angel wings on and a halo. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I'm a new subscriber. Wonderful to know I'm not alone in this world. Oh, I'm so glad you're not. Teach him to speak Spanish. Well, I did say to him, Amos, she speaks Spanish. And he said, hola. <laughs> and then she still looked at him and was like, ha, huh, I called them pilgrims. Yeah, I could see him saying that, pilgrims. Yeah. No, he'll, he said, he, what did he say something the other day? Oh, Jack Reacher's in a book. He said, Honor, what in the devil are you doing? Is she crazy? Honor, stop. That's so annoying. Sit down. Stop it. He said what? He saw somebody. I've never seen somebody try to get so comfortable on a couch. He saw somebody and said, what was it that he said? <laughs> you are a... I can't remember. Something. Something. And I'm trying to think of what he said that's inappropriate to people. Oh, I know. Well, the other day we saw somebody at the grocery store and he said, Ha! Huh, what are you? You are Santa. <laughs> <laughs> but the man looked like he was sort of tickled with that. <laughs> and it was like Christmas Eve. Oh, golly. Um, <laughs> I just heard him in there say, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. There, wait, Sarah said, there was a man with rotten teeth at Subway, and my son walked up to him and pointed to his teeth. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what would happen. And there's nothing you could even say. I mean, you just... You can, like, basically act like you don't hear him. <laughs> I called the nuns penguins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, that would be normal. Look at all the penguins. What is Amish? What even is that? Isn't that where you have, like, a dress code? When you're Amish? Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I don't, they... I don't know. Mennonites, I think there's a lot of Mennonites down here. My son, who is eight and autistic, saw a little person for the first time the other day. I tried to rush him through, but he yelled, Mom, why is that guy a baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. He was Amos very... Seen a little person? Well, on the subway the other day, but I don't think Amos would notice. I think Amos would be like, it's an elf, if he, like, really looked. Now, that is true. He would be like would elf be like, and oh, elf. Oh, oh. What are you? I'm an elf. <laughs> help that would me be say awful. It. Help me say it. Help me say, welcome to the subway, elf. <laughs> My mom said that when I was little, we were at the grocery store, and a little person came in, was in the grocery store, and lived in Rocky Mount, evidently, where I grew up. And that I was about four, and she saw me. My eyes looked real excited. And she was like, doing this, and I went, oh. It's a little daddy. <laughs> and she said he was like, I am a little daddy. You know, like, better just say something instead of not. If you ignore the inappropriate comments, does he repeat them or say them louder? <laughs> Both. I don't think he does. It depends. Yeah, sometimes he'll repeat them if he wants you to hear him. Because sometimes he likes getting in trouble. Like, Amos likes causing problems. <laughs> That sounds like somebody else I know. Like, Amos, like, slams the door just so you'll tell him not to slam it. No, but I don't. I try not to give him any any attention for fucker bot or whatever else he's saying. Because sometimes he says those words and he doesn't mean to. It's like they just come out. And you know it, too. You've said the same thing. I worked with a lady, and she had a mustache. My son said, look, she's got a mustache. <laughs> uh, when I was little, I was at the grocery store, and I think I was with one of my babysitters from the beach. And then, so there's this lady, and she was working there, and she was like, and then these guys were like, what, like, board game do you recommend? And she pulled out this one with, like, beards. And then I started dying laughing because she had a mustache, and she was recommending, like, a mustache beard game. <laughs> 
And then, like, I had to sit there with my babysitter for, like, 20 minutes because I couldn't go over to the register without laughing. <laughs> that is horrible. <sighs> well, like, if you saw somebody, like, who looked like Santa and they were selling, like, a Santa game, you would laugh. Well, I just think it's it's better for us to talk and acknowledge. Why does that man have boobies? Passed <laughs> at the water park. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, it's better to just acknowledge and talk through it. Tell him it's baby bathroom talk. Hmm. I think it's just where he is developmentally, too. Like, I remember when Thomas and Russell were three or four, you know, poopy, poopy head, poopy this, poopy that, poopy. Russell said fudge for, like, five years. Fudge, like, fudge, poopy, poopy, poopy. And they grew out of it. Some stuff, Amos, it just happens later. A lot of things... It's just, it takes him longer. But look, we have a spammer named Shri Raghav that says, go run. I ain't running, Shri Raghav. <laughs> Kathy, the librarian was sweating, and my son called her Sweaty Betty. <laughs> my friend, I <laughs> his friend, and her daughter had to do this, like, second grade Q&A thing for Christmas. And it said, what are old people thankful for? And she wrote, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, Tourette's. Tourette's syndrome. Everybody pretended it didn't happen. It's just no, there's just no reason to pay attention to it. Did who get highlights? Me or Blair? I did. My hairdresser said I needed them. Oh, you got highlights? I thought you didn't dye your hair. I didn't, but then I've started again. Why aren't you visiting with your mom or your dad? They're asleep. Indie order, that's what we call a passive-aggressive question. We in, I invented passive-aggressive, so you can't fool me with that little question there. Hey, <laughs> gotcha. One's I asleep. mean, it kind of would make sense for you to hang out with them if you were in their house and they were paying for your food and your travel. But they're not here. How do you know? Oh, I forgot. DB's not. DB's probably asleep at the ball game. Where is everyone? I generally do videos when no one's here. I mean, what am I going to sit around and have all of them like giving me mean looks? Mamie is here. She's asleep. DB is at the Miami Heat game. <sighs> I wasn't invited to. Well, you should play church basketball if you like basketball so much. You just wanted to, to go and get like a Miami Heat jersey. I know, and I wanted to see LeBron play. Why are people hateful? It's a sickness. It's a sickness. That's why if you tr pay $5 a month, you get to avoid all this annoyances. Annoyancing. <gasps> Brianna from Tennessee. Welcome. We're down in Florida. Mm -hmm. We're down here. Yes, I did a video this morning about George Santos. George Santos, you know it's bad when Fox News rips a new one for a Republican. I mean, he got torn up on Tucker Carlson last night, but it was a woman. And she was like, explain to me how you lied about these places you worked. And he was like, well, I didn't lie. I just, you know, I worked with them in commodities. That's like if Russell was a politician her brother. And I didn't, you know, this, and he was trying to act like super smart. Meanwhile, we've just found out he hasn't grown, finished college. And two years ago, he was like working at a call center in Queens for Dish Network. So don't try to be sneaky and like suddenly throw all these fancy words. And he said, I mean, I can't explain it to you right now because it would be way over the heads of Americans. She was like, Wait a minute. Did you just say you're so smart that you can't even, like, Americans aren't going to be able to understand you? Like, what if I said to y'all, I would tell you, but it would be way over your head. Nobody like to know that. No. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir, Bobby. I have a 
Avatar sequel earned a one billion worldwide. This might be your income, but you help many lonely people. Oh, well, I mean, I didn't do it to make money. I mean, it's nice to, to have it be a career, too, but um, no, I do yeah, it because... Yeah, y'all ready for the cruise? I... Oh, that's not your surprise. There are times you feel lonesome, and you want, you know, you... <gasps> people, we need each other in this great big world. Who's going on the cruise? We have a subscriber cruise. And someone who's 13 is, is pilfered their way in there, which I may regret. I won't talk to you. I won't even act like I know you because I don't have to talk to people. Good. I'm going to be talk, really. working, talking, yeah, I'm gonna be on swimming. Um, well, that was a good night. I'm going to go get Amos to bed. And then tomorrow... Um, what is tomorrow? Oh, I'm getting my nails done. My nails done. You sound like such a diva. <laughs> I know. It sounded <laughs> like I was like... Who are you, Paris Hilton? <laughs> I'm getting my nails done. <laughs> I'm getting my mustache waxed. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Um, tomorrow, what am I doing? Tomorrow's Thursday. We have no plans. I'm going to go to the beach. Why don't you take Amos to the zoo? Okay, I'm gonna kill you, and I'm, I'm. If I go to the zoo, I promise you, your ass is going to. And you're gonna pedal that car all by yourself while I ride in the back. <laughs> go faster, sissy. I mean, earlier she went in there and said, "Do you want a brownie?" It's like we don't have brownies. <laughs> now you want to get me mad. You start doing that mess. I tell you what, you're going to get a spanking. You make my day much brighter. Oh, good. Barbara Jane Mackle. Oh, this our house is a Mackle house. The, watch it. Oh, this is the movie as good as it gets. I love this movie. Okay. <laughs> What? I do. Turn that down. No, no, stop. Get, stop it. Why are you playing the movie? You just press play. Mom, I wasn't even over there okay. by the TV. Okay, mic. you need to go to bed. It's past your bedtime. No, I haven't. Met a Joe? What? Why are you looking at yourself? My phone is not a, cam a camera <laughs> for you. It's like it's a mirror. Why do y'all do your eyes real big whenever you're trying to get on some picture? It doesn't look good. Take her out of there. Blair and your oldest son look alike. Oh, I think she and Russell look the most alike. <laughs> you did that. She said that because she knew I wouldn't like you. <laughs> he is true. Like, she even smiled after she said it. Like, cause she... <laughs> I hear sirens. Okay. Subscribers, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Hi, Honor. Okay, I gotta go get Amos in bed.